just had a big, big change of plans. Uh, what is up, everybody? I'm Heath. This is the Minor Boys. Dad's down here. Hank's down here. We're at the race shop. It's early. We're down here. Got a little bit of work to do. Um, got the 15 back here. It's on the trailer. We just pulled it out. We had it back under here for the rain. Um, got to do a little bit of rearranging with their cars real quick. We're going to get the 15 on the lift, run through it. Uh, just check through everything. Got to mess with the brakes, see why they were uh, locking up at Talladega last time we ran. And that one will basically be ready for why not this weekend. Um, 1200 to win Mississippi Street Stock Series race. And we're taking it. And Bo's car is getting a body on it. There's his motor. So he's getting a body on it. We got to get the motor transmission in next week. And we'll take both of them over to why not. So we're going to get some rearranging done and make room for the 15 to get in here on the, uh, on the rack. So when dad hit the tractor tire, let's see, you can kind of tell right there, it kind of buckled that frame horn down, horn down a little bit. Don't know if it kicked it over a little bit too. I think we're going, he's going to load it up and take it to the, uh, to the doctor, get the frame pulled out. The lick. Yep, that was shot. <laughs> Nothing pop shop can't handle though. Yeah, that's right. But give a shout out to Rusty Duncan. He'll make it look new. Yep, it'll look brand new when he gets gets through with it. Also, in the video from Fort Payne, y'all didn't see the last. Um, when he pulled off, he had spun out again. Well, his his steering wheel came off. The knuckle when he hit, it won't allow it to uh, to lock down. So that's. One of the reasons he pulled off, he had a hole in the radiator and then his steering wheel. That's the, no fun coming off. Yeah, the knuckle, uh, the knuckle broke when he hit. So um, luckily it wasn't worse than it was when it came off. So, And then Bo, he just got beaten bang. It's impressive to have a donut above your tire. That's, that's really, and heck, he only got half of it because it was yeah. so high. That's impressive. Look at those tires. That's a left front. They're all forward, just cooked. Left rear. Shows you how hard that track was. Track has, it has no clay. It's just full of sand. Yeah. Uh, heat tires. Yeah. But we, uh, oh, and we got new parts for the new car. We'll unbox that, let y'all see what we got. So we're going to get to pushing and moving and see if we can make room. Didn't sound good. All right, got a little bit more room in here now. Things ain't no fun to push. All right, put it on Facebook. Y'all hadn't seen it. We got the front cap redone. New nose, new scoop, new hood, new fenders. And then the back, we had to, uh, had to completely close in. Had to be all the way down, straight down, couldn't angle, all that. So we had to change all that. We're going to get it racked up. That makes life so easy. All right, we it got a bad connection somewhere. It didn't have no power to it. Um, so we're trying to figure out how we can get it to crank. All right. We got the wiring part figured out, we think. 
we redid the dash in there and when we did one of the wires was too short and we didn't realize when we were pulling stuff getting it lined up the um it came unplugged i think that was the issue on that now our starter's acting up so we got to get a new starter uh next week but now we got to get the brakes the brake situation uh figured out while they were sticking get it fixed and probably gonna lift the car up kind of go through under you know go through everything underneath and that sucker will be ready to ready to load up and go to the track all right we found caliper locked up we hadn't found the brake pedal issue but we're gonna get this caliper undone if y'all remember last year when i first ran this car the right front caliper um locked up on me we actually never put one on there because we run three wheel normally anyways same caliper style so not getting one of them luckily we have one sitting here we're gonna throw it on and uh get it hooked back up where it's can release and everything then we'll get in there and look at the uh the brake pedal and see what's going on in that situation Up. That one's no bueno. Alright, our brake job turned into a full blown brake job. Um, found a caliper that was stuck. We found um, a couple other issues. So, what we're doing, we got two new calipers. We're going to go buy another caliper. We we're only running three on this car. We're replacing the calipers, the pads, all that. Let's go open, open our box. We got, a, we got a big box in the back of my truck we need to open. Got Shep's new gift. Yeah, got Shep something that Mama ordered. Let's go see what it is. All right, this is officially our first part for the new car. Uh, Fragili. It's Italian. It's Italian too, just like those lights were. I've peeked, but it's wrapped up in plastic, so I couldn't really see, see it too much. Ooh there it is. The new cell for the new car. Comes with a gas gauge. It even got an old dipstick in it. We went with a big one so we can put as much as we want to or need to in it. Um, that's what, yeah, that's what McCree, you know, he said just get a big one. And that way you can put however much, you can put 20 gallons, you can put 10 or you can put 30 if you want to. You can put however much you want to in it. Um, but a big thank you to Justin French. Um, go to Justin French Racing on Facebook give him a thumbs up he is a superior dealer he is a bsb manufacturing dealer and he is a driven racing oil um dealer so i put on facebook a few weeks ago that you know i was looking for one he reached out you know within you know no time he uh he sent me an invoice sent me a tracking number all that so he got me hooked up um if you're looking for new fuel cell or any you know bsb makes a bunch of stuff for racing so if you're looking for any of that um contact justin french justin french racing on facebook he will hook you up he can drop ship something straight to your house that thing came from oregon took it a week to get here but with the weather and everything you know that was expected and they were also in the process of building that too they didn't have any in stock they were building it but he got us hooked up. Go check out him. Justin, I appreciate it, man. Um, if we, whenever we get another one, we'll definitely hit you up. So, well, there it is. The new Superior Cell. New paint. Smell new. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. That's our first part for the new car. We got a few more different things coming in next week. Um, like I said, we're just trying to slowly piece together stuff. Um, but that's, you know, Hey, we ain't got enough money. We ain't got enough money just to buy it out of pocket and everything you need, so 
piecing it together and uh and hopefully we will have a chassis here in hopefully a few weeks have a chassis here start putting everything on it so but there we go Gonna get the deuce up in the air, ready to wash. Came to a standstill on the 15 for a little bit, so I'm gonna get this one up and up and cleaned up a little bit. There's the old hog leg. Alright y'all, it is now Sunday. We kind of ran into a standstill on mine and uh and I had to get back up to the house with Shep, so kind of stopped with the brake stuff. Um dad came down here, washed old Deuce, got her back looking good minus the uh the tire scuffs marks. But uh just had a big big change of plans. Uh somewhat unexpected um i think it's good i think it'll turn out better for us um but the plan was both street stocks going to why not this weekend well we have just now just got off the phone with the guy and we have just sold the 15. um no motor no seat and he sent me a little bit of money um to my paypal just now so we wouldn't race it this weekend kind of get it i don't think we're gonna be able to meet and get it given to them this weekend or anything so you know obviously i didn't want to race it if we sold it to i, don't, I didn't want to fix stuff to to have it be able to sell it again but this will really help us with the new car um it'll kind of put money in our pocket so we can get a lot of stuff ordered and ready for it um I was looking forward to racing it. We had it, we changed a lot of stuff on it and or a few things and we're gonna try some different things at practice, but now we have money or we will have money in hand ready for the new car and be able to get it running a lot quicker than we expected. So, um, but we got some work to do. Uh, we, I talked to them about some gears and stuff and I'm gonna put them in the gear that they need and then we're gonna pull the motor and pull my seat out of it. So, got a little bit of work to do on it real quick and uh, then get it ready to, to head on down the road to somebody else. in here throw it in real quick and then uh, get the car down and probably get the seat out today so let's get this other one in here i hate changing gears on these things but this sure beats the heck out of getting it out on the ground laying under it and trying to hold it up above your head and not crush your face or drop the gear so we're spoiled with this for sure Be sitting in the 15 anymore sad day but a good day I'm ready for that new one to get finished because this will help us get it finished a lot faster so it is what it is i'll be sitting out for at least a little while until we uh until we get the new one rolling so got that out we may start unbuckling the the motor at least get it ready to pull i don't know if we'll pull it today but I may start on that here in just a second we're gonna get started on the motor. We ain't gonna pull it today, but at least get it unbuckled, kind of ready to ready to pull out. 
we hadn't decided when we we're gonna meet if the guy he's not from around here so um still kind of trying to decide that he sent me a little bit of money to know that he was serious and you know was sure gonna buy it so i told him that i'd start on getting everything out of it Alright, we got it almost ready to pull out. Got the radiator out. Uh, most stuff's unhooked on it. So, like I said, we're selling this thing. We're pulling the motor. I pulled my seat, and that's it. Everything else is going. Um, it's got. We're gonna put his the gear that he wanted in it. Um, all that. So, all literally, all he's got to do is put a seat, bolt the motor in there, and he can go racing. So, we'll uh, we'll get back down here and probably finish this up uh, later on. All right, y'all, we are wrapping up. I gotta get this little guy home so his mama can hang out with him. She's been working all day. So say roll tide, shit. No? Okay. Tell him hey, tell him hey. But we're out of here. Uh, we will get bows ready for the, um, the Why Not race, the Battle of the States race, 1200 to win Mississippi Street Stock Series race. <laughs> Um, we were planning on taking both, but my car is sold, so we'll be getting rid of it um, probably in the next, I think next week or the following week. We'll meet the guy with it and send it on its, to its new home, but uh, appreciate y'all watching. We're going to get out of here, and we will catch y'all later this week um, getting bows ready, but y'all like, subscribe, leave us a comment, let us know what you thought. Remember, we're trying to hit 10,000 subscribers this year, so y'all help us out. Click that little button for us. Appreciate y'all watching. Woo, let's go. Say hey.